am looking at this uh, CL. Okay, CL opened and popped up, so I got a, a good fill and plus five. All right, watching this the CL again. I did short the CL plus five again. All right, got a rock star on the GC. I shorted the uh, the GC. And remember, I'm going to be a little more aggressive adjusting my stop or shortening my stop up on the GC because it can uh, it can make the these pops like this this you know these one bar pops like that and then go sideways it's uh, the GC is famous for that so I'm gonna uh, be just a little bit more aggressive with that stop management mm, it hit my stop I mean uh, my target and then backed off of it is plus five and that is three trades and three winners and I'm done trading live and I'm switching over to sim yeah Pierre I am shortened my stop I will never make bigger manage my stop relative to the conditions you know the new conditions that exist for example if I'm really if price is really pushing hard and that's what's going on when I get into the trade then I pretty much just leave it alone but if price starts going sideways it doesn't have the reaction that I was anticipating when I got into the trade then that's a change of conditions and that's not what I wanted when I got into the trade so I start to manage the stop because the conditions that got me into the trade longer exist I got speed tick on the YM I bought the YM plus five so we we see a lot of Rockstar trade setups to get more of those, but there are occasionally when we get this hard drop here right into this major line of support with an oversold condition and just this speed tick here. This is the trade setup that I traded for a long time before there even was a Rockstar. So all I need for the speed tick setup is for this bar to open five ticks or less from this support. I don't need another Rockstar. Now this is, of course, we added star to help make trade setups easier to trade uh, easier to understand and give a higher probability that being said i never stopped trading these speed tick trades we just added more layers of confluence so this is oversold hits the line opens above and that's where i got in and off to the races i bought the ym and didn't have time to get on the nq so i got a plus five on the ym bought the cl that was a speed tick trade on the cl I'm watching for the open of the next bar on the CL to decide if I'm going to be managing my stop or not. If it's above that line, I'll just keep it where it is. If it's below that line, will that condition change? All right, so that's a rock star. So interestingly enough, um, I'm not going to manage just yet. No longer a speed tick trade. It's a rock star trade. And now I got stopped out. Okay, so I had five winners before this loser here, but I stopped trading live three trades ago. I've put all my trades in the bank, and anything else I do today is just for uh, working on my trading. You know, just making sure I'm staying practiced. Watch the uh, CL. Another tick set trade. So I bought it again. So you say, but Tony, you just took a loss on the last CL. Why would you do it again? Why wouldn't I? If that's what my trade plan says to do, why wouldn't I? Still above that support. So I have not managed this trade yet. And plus five.